Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Welp, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. When we last left off, we were exploring the planets in the, la in the sector. Well, this is the third time I've tried to record this, and my, for some reason my recordings keep getting corrupted. So hopefully this one works out well. Uh, we, we've trans traveled to a new sector, and I'm getting attacked by some of the hostile creatures on here. Maybe I need to just get in my ship while I do all this. And uh, we've, we met Atlas. And I wish it would have recorded because, yeah, it was. I went to a monolith, I came to this sector, did a, a system wide scan, and it, it led us to Atlas. And I started exploring, and yeah, the recording got corrupted for some reason. So here we are at this place. Let's go out here and save, get this place on the roll. I may have to, unfortunately, take care of those. Hey. On you. Oh, going the wrong way. Run, running right back into them. Okay. But I uh, may have to dispatch of these creatures, but I try not to because I don't want to disrupt the life forms on here. So I just try to stay away from them as much as possible. And as you can hear, they're, they're quite pissed off. Hey, there's another, there's a new one out there. Come here, you. Oh no, don't, don't kill it. I need to scan it. What are you? Oh. What kind of plan is, oh, let's just. Come here, creature. Come here, creature. It's a small creature. It doesn't even show up on the map. On the oh, there it is. It's really small. Really, really small. But uh, I met Atlas, and the Atlas. Uh, uh, I've accepted Atlas' guidance. I have accepted his guidance. So what I'm thinking about doing is just. Well, I have some bad news. The video you just watched was the only thing that I could salvage from all the corrupted video files from this series. I've tried recording this countless times and I don't realize, I don't know how much of this is going to get uh, recorded. Uh, for all I know, this could be corrupted as well. We'll just be finding out. So, here we go. Sorry to make such an abrupt cut, but that's all I could salvage as far as the video was concerned. I'm surprised they even got what, what was there. But uh, we're going to try to explore this planet just a little bit more and see what's up. Hey, what's this? What is this? Oh. It is a drop pod. Awesome. I wonder if we have the cash. We should. I have 78,000. Or 780,000. We have enough? Yes, we do. 300,000. There we go. And we have to be careful because a lot of these creatures on this planet are very hostile. Very, very hostile. So I gotta watch, like, yeah. I don't see, oh yeah, he's over the ridge. He's there, he knows I'm here. So let's get to our ship as fast as we can, which is over here. And continue exploring this planet. It's a very weird planet indeed. Because it's got big spires, big floating islands, as you can see right in front of us. Which, I don't see anything on those floating islands that's any use, or that we can use. Uh, I don't think there's anything as far as our materials that we have that we need. I mean, we have an extra power cell, actual couple power cells. 
But, uh... Hey, what's that right there? Can we land from this height? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. What is over here? It's a crash ship. Look at that. Oh, I wonder what's all... Oh, that looks like an X-Wing. Kind of. Let's look at the beacon. It's, it's very rare to find an, uh, a ship just randomly without having to go search for the beacon. It's hard to tell just how long ago this craft crashed here. The pilot reptilian body is fully decomposed and technology looks dated. The pilot's skeleton hand is clutching something. I go to investigate, but a noise from the cargo hold distracts me. Investigate the object in the hand. I find a hollow locket that projects the image of a life form that was perhaps the pilot's mate. This, however, wasn't the only information that was there. The new technology. Thermic layer theta. Oh, that's awesome. How many slots does this ship have? 22. How many, how many slots do we have? 21. Well, then. And we'd have to repair just about everything on it. The thrusters, we need some iron, we need a dynamic resonator. I don't think we can make one of those. So let's let's leave it for now. Can we make a dynamic resonator? I don't know if we can. Yes, we can. What does it call for? Antimatter, chrysonite, nah. Unfortunately, as much as I want to take that ship, I'll have to go try to find a dynamic resonator, which I don't know if there's any place around here that has it. We already know that. That is a cool looking ship. Hmm. You know what? Why not? It's a ship upgrade. We need the ship upgrade. And what we can do is just we can take these, dismantle all these pieces to get the, the advanced stuff that we need, like the chrysonite. There we go. I want to transfer this over. Transfer all this over. Dismantle all this. Iron and thomium. Iridium. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll transfer these back. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. Where'd the other ship go? I prematurely accepted it. Where'd that other ship go? Don't tell me it disappeared. That's gonna be bad. That's gonna be really bad. Oh boy. I do not see it. And I have a bad sense of direction when it comes to this game because everything looks the same. Oh boy. We parked over on this ridge, I do believe. There it is. Okay. Let's go ahead and accept this. Get back into here. So we can get our stuff out. Alright. Now. Now that we got all our stuff, we can transfer some of this to our inventory. Before we make the transfer. Alright. Anything else I can do? Sure. And yeah, why not? Anything else? Can I dismantle this? Yes, I can. Transfer this to my inventory. Okay, dismantle that. No, no, and no. Okay, this ship is completely empty. And I think I need to scan these rocks because I haven't seen them before. There we go. And I think the ship was over here. Yeah, there it is. All right. Just one of the perks of cleaning out a ship. 
Yeah, 22 slots. We're probably going to need it. We may or may not need it, but who knows. All right. Get inside. And we need to fix fix a few things. The pulse engines, we need kerite sheets. Do we have enough iron? We need how many? Actually, I think we need to make our launch thrusters first, so we need four kerite sheets. We need some more iron. All right. So let's get out. Let's get some of this blue rock of iron. What's this right here? Aluminum. Uh, we might sit there and farm that up too. Hey, what are you? Getting some more money, man. Look at that. All right. So let's get some of this iron. And get enough of this stuff to fix up our fix up a new ship, which kind of looks like an X-wing. I can't lie, I'm kind of digging that. I'd rather have an X-Wing than a big banana ship, which I can't say two bad things. That ship has got us to two, se two different sectors, so it's been a good ship. It's been a real good ship. Oh, leave me alone. Go away. Yes, that's right. Go away. I swear, I try to get the, the timing of the overheat, but it doesn't always work. And we've already scanned that. Let's get the smaller one first. Alright, leave me alone, guys. I'm not doing anything. There we go. There should be enough iron. If not, we have plenty, plenty more around. We've already got, what, one kerite sheet or two kerite sheets? So they cost 50 each. There we go. Now, oh, now we should be able to repair this. There we go. We should be able to charge it up with the plutonium we had. Now we need two kerite sheets, and we have everything else because we dismantled a bunch of stuff on that other ship. So, do we have enough for more kerite sheets? Yes, we do. So, pulse engines, there we go. And charge it up with the thalmium we have. Awesome. I don't think we'll be using the phase beams, so we could go ahead and dismantle this for a few resources, but we just leave it alone right now. Now we just need to make a dynamic resonator to get the warp drive back up and running, which I don't think I have enough stuff for the dynamic resonator yet. No, we need 45 more chrysonite. Is there anything here that... There, there's 15. Radium copper zinc. The phase beam, I can get rid of that. Nickel and platinum. Platinum. Uh, doesn't look like there's any more that I can dismantle for chrysonite, and I haven't found a rich deposit of it, so that might be an issue. I may just have to go back up to the space station to find a way to get a dynamic resonator, or oh, I need microfiber sheets. I keep pressing the wrong button. How many more we need for the resonator? We need one more sheet. Uh, the, fi the fabric. And we just need five chrysonite. So let's hop in the ship, since we've powered it up. Grab what's here. And head to the space station. And get the, the engine, or the warp drive back up and running. All right. Can we launch? Yes, we can. So let's head to the space station, shall we? And I don't think I've recorded, actually, the recording that I had of going to the space station got corrupted. So this time you guys can see the space station in all its glory. All right, space station. 
is this direction. So here we go. I have to say though, but each of these sectors that we go to, it just becomes more and more beautiful. It just it's just the shock and awe of how beauty the beauty that is all around us. In each planet, even though yeah, some of the uh, researching and explore exploration of each planet and stuff like that is monotonous. It's just going to the different planets that I find very enjoyable. Very very enjoyable. So here's our space station. See if we can find the entrance. Which I think the marker is at the entrance, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, yeah, it is. Awesome. And in we go. And the name of our ship is Hatsunat S62. So that's kind of cool. Alrighty. Look at this thing. Oh man. Now that I'm thinking about it, though, it's not. It doesn't really look like an X-wing too much. I mean, it resembles an X-wing, but it looks more like an A-wing to me from the Star Wars series. So that's that's makes you feel kind of cool that you're flying around in a ship that's probably even based off the actual design of the A-wing. All right, come here, you Mr. Space Station. There's nothing in here, and again, this space station's empty. This is the third third time that we've been to a space station, and it's just been completely empty. All right, come on, tell me. Oh, they actually have a dynamic resonator for two, thirty-two thousand. I wonder if I should make this or just buy the five chrysanite that I need. Just I just need five, just five. Because I have everything else. Alright. Let's go back and sell what we have. Uh, I don't think we really have anything to sell except for maybe that. Yeah, that's about all we had. So now, now that we've actually got the Christonite to make it, we can actually craft the dynamic resonator. Awesome. Now, is that all it needs? Yep. And I have the po extra power cells in my exosuit, right here and right here. That way, because you don't want to put it all into one ship. Of course, this is the, the tips and stuff that I've been reading. You don't want to put all your warp cells into one ship because there's a chance, like what we just found here, that, uh, yeah, you find another ship that's got bigger slots, something that looks more pleasing to the eye, something that you like better than the old ship that you had. It's essentially an upgrade. And then, yeah, you go off, and if you put it all into one ship, you just waste it. I I've done that before, so I try not to do it anymore. But we are com currently out of antimatter, and I think we can craft it? I do believe we can craft antimatter. But we need electron vapor, which requires a suspension fluid. Let's go ahead and craft this. Craft this. And craft an antimatter just to be safe just to be safe that way we're not stranded you know anywhere but anyway I'm sorry like I was saying I'm sorry about the footage earlier I wanted to post what what I had from the corrupted files because I was able to salvage it I'm just I'm just upset that my footage was corrupted but at least I don't have to, to go all the way back to square one and at least I was able to salvage just a little bit. But uh, I just thought I'd come in, close it with with us finding... I didn't even know we was going to find a new ship, so it's a surprise to me too. But I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you everybody for watching. 
If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And until next time, see you later. How many practice to spend? Otherwise, I could get my hacking up, but I don't. So that's why we went and we bought this mobile tool. Clip it. Put that away. Don't I actually use that. Alright. Get in here. Close the door. Let's get up this ladder really quick. Because I'm in a restricted area and do not want to get caught. There we go.